truth is we made a huge mistake. And by we, I mean Nicolette made a big mistake. <laughs> okay, babe. In this video, we're gonna tell you guys about all the mistakes Brian and I made when buying our van and about our $35,000 mistake that almost ruined all of our dreams. If you plan on buying a van, you want to buy a van, if you want to renovate a van into a home, this video is for you. We wanna make sure you avoid the mistakes we made that caused us to make a $35,000 mistake. We wanna make sure you guys never go through what we did. So we definitely went back and forth on whether or not to tell you this story. It's just a little embarrassing, honestly. It's hard to admit that you made a big mistake. Yeah, we definitely went back and forth because this story is ridiculous. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but if we don't tell it to you, you could fall into the same kind of trap that we did. So we have to tell it. It all started with we wanted to join van life. And by van life, not the hashtag, Nicolette and I wanted to live in a tiny home and we wanted it to be mobile. And we decided after looking at different options, the van is best for us. Yeah, we wanna live modestly and we want the ability to travel. So what better way to do that than live in a van? So our mistake came in when vans ended up going up in price and we didn't know where to buy it. Our home state had none available, literally none, besides one that was 10,000 more than this little dealership in Jersey had. They had 15 that were $10,000 less than the one van we found in Pennsylvania. So we drove to Jersey. We had a time frame. We had moved out of our comfort zone and we wanted to get the process started. Also, the market was just getting higher and higher. We wanted to get this van and I guess we were a little impulsive. So we were looking online and I noticed in Jersey, they had a significant amount of vans and they were way cheaper. Um, yeah. This was the first missed red flag. Why are they so much cheaper? Well, we'll tell you that later. We drove to Jersey, we bought a van. We didn't feel too great about it. We drove it home, but all excuses aside, yeah. we chose to buy a van because we were in a rush. We really wanted to start building our home. You know, we've been waiting for a long time. We yeah, have, this has been in planning for a really, really long time, since the beginning of this channel, so. Yeah. First, can we talk about our loan agreement? So this is embarrassing, but we're gonna tell you. Our loan agreement was terrible. Signing it, I was like, like it was absolutely terrible. And you know, we were both looking at each other, like you could tell one of us wanted to pull the trigger, but neither of us did, like we didn't. We wanted to leave <laughs> and neither of us did because we felt like we if we left the dream our home, killer. Yeah, we would kill our dream. So we're signing the paperwork and we're both looking at each other like we're not totally sure. And what do we do? But we sign the paperwork. We do and it. And our loan terms were terrible. It was commercial loan. We got talked into. That's the only kind of loan you can have with a ProMaster. You can't get a personal loan. No. Uh, no one gets a personal rate on a van. That's what they told us. Red flag number two. So we signed this terrible loan at 10.34%. That's, I didn't want to say this in the video because it is embarrassing. It is. I, I, that's, you know, it's not like we have perfect credit, but you know, it's not terrible. So that is a very bad rate um, for personal loans, but for commercial, we actually found out that's kind of average. Yeah. And we don't know if that's why he did it or what, but the interest rate was triple what we, we wanted. We sign the paperwork and we drive the van home. We have a two and a half hour drive home and on our drive home, we immediately start noti noticing issues with the van. Everything from a headlight out to the battery light on, which is scary because that could be anything from the whole wiring to, you know, you need to replace the battery or the alternator is bad. So we had pretty, pretty serious issues driving home. Yeah, and then when we got home, what happened? I was all proud. I'm like, oh, we bought a van finally and I wanted to show Nicolette's dad and I wanted him to look over it and I knew in my heart and soul he's not gonna find one visual issue because I, I got them to fix all the issues. He opens the door to the driver's side, instantly finds an issue within five seconds and goes, what the heck, why would you buy this? And I was embarrassed. Yeah. I was like all proud, I'm like, look what we got. And <laughs> the door was literally falling off you just couldn't tell unless you looked in the crack of it. You really opened it. So he noticed that right off the bat and he was a dream killer. 
Yeah. So he was like, you got to call them. They have to take care of this. This is a lot of money. It's like 700 bucks just to weld this shut. Hopefully they can do it. Mm -hmm. We didn't know. So we go down there. We pay for a hotel. They say, oh, we're going to fix all these issues you have. We have a whole list. We pay for a hotel. We wait around. We finally get back to the dealership the next day after waiting five hours there again. We get the van. The door looks really, really good. So we're distracted by that. We're like, oh, Door's they fixed great. the door. We assume they fixed everything else. They ignored the whole rest of our list. They did nothing else on the list. So they were kind of disrespectful in that way. So we drive home again. Experienced so many issues, everything from the van dying while we weren't home uh, and we needed to get a tow to them, you know, lying about fixing the brakes and the brakes really not being good. It could have been Which unsafe. Which we found out afterwards trying to get it inspected. Yep. So we did our job in the sense that we had an impartial party look at it to make sure you know, these guys were telling the truth. We didn't trust them at this point when things started going bad. Yeah. Now, most in Jersey, there's no wiggle room. You buy a van, it's yours. They're not legally obligated to accept a return at all. There's no lemon law that covers commercial vehicles, and it was a commercial interest rate. So it was scary. We now at this point thought we had a van that was going to be bad, and we just wasted a lot of money on it, and we're screwed. So yeah, well the problem could have been minor. The dealership lied to us so many times and just sent us back and forth without caring. We didn't trust the dealership at all anymore. So they offered to take back the van or take a trade, which we did consider because some of the vans had lower miles on them. So we drive back to Jersey. We look at all the vans. The manager who was disrespectful and said something about Nicolette's <laughs> physical body and it really upset me when he did that. Um, he was just inappropriate in general he was. and it was didn't care. Like I learned that this manager literally slept with his wife's cousin. That's the kind of guy he was. He just kept telling these stories to keep you uh, on edge or like away from the topic that's important. Red flag number three. Red flag mm -hmm. number three. So Billy, his name is. I won't say the car dealership, but this guy was Billy. We drive back. We look at the vans because some of them had a lot of lower miles. And yeah. we were like, wait, if we can you know, turn this 75,000 mile van in for one with 30,000 miles, like, why not? We're open to it. So we get there, nothing feels right again, and- Feels we uncomfortable. We went to a Panera Bread, and we're sitting there for hours, just trying to trying to figure out what, what do we do? Like, do we trade the van or do we give it back? And then finally, Brian just looked at me and he said, Nicolette, we're we done with to, these we people. We need to return the van. <laughs> I looked at her and I said, no. Not these people. I cried they, in Panera Bread and realized we had to return the van. So we did. We did. And the truth is, <laughs> you're if you buy a car, most likely it's it's you can't return it. For some reason, the owner, he didn't like the actions of his manager. He didn't like the fact that we went back and tried to fix it multiple times. And they lied to us. I don't know what it was, but he let us return it. He bought our van back from us and paid our loan right out. So we got so lucky and by the skin of our teeth, we avoided a $35,000 mistake that literally could have crushed our dreams and put us in a lot of debt. You know, we're really thankful we're that thankful they took for it that. back and that we, we learned a lot. The truth is our $35,000 mistake should be a lesson to all of you watching. Yeah, the truth when is you, we're idiots. We were idiots when we bought this van. When you go into a dealership, you have to go in there knowing your rights. So uh, there's probably a lot of videos that can teach you that, but when you're going to buy a van to live in and renovate, you need it to be good long term because you're putting a lot of money into it. We're spending a lot of money on the van we do have. We fixed our mistake, but um, we want to make sure that you guys don't waste your money, don't make a mistake like we did, and just avoid the hassle that we yeah. went through. Know yeah. your rights. First one, you can get a personal interest rate on a van. Yeah. They're going to try to tell you, oh, this has to be commercial because it's a Dodge Ram or it's a Ford Transit and it doesn't have seats in the back. Well, if you work with your insurance company and you really insist on it, you're going to get a personal loan. Do not let them tell you it has to be commercial. The second thing that you should learn from us, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. Yeah. Do not do it. None of the vans felt right, not the one we bought and not the ones that we were going to trade for. So they didn't feel right. And that is the number one red flag. If it doesn't feel right, get out of there. Not your time. <laughs>
The third one is try to buy locally. Do not drive out of state to get a van. You're gonna feel very pressured from that salesman. He's gonna know you're out of state just from your license plate. You're gonna feel extremely pressured to bring a van home because you just made that trip. Yeah. It would be a waste of gas, of time, of a hotel because you drove pretty far from home to get it. So it's you wager the option, like, oh, I drove here, so maybe I should get it. If you don't drive far, you won't think like that. You don't think like that. Don't right. be impulsive. So I know it's very exciting. You're about to get a van, you're about to turn it into a home and you can travel and you're out of the lifestyle that you don't wanna live and you're getting into the lifestyle that you dreamed of. And if it's right now and it's the times where bands are tough, you're thinking, is this like, am I even gonna get a band? Because they're not making new ones and it's stressful. There's not a lot of bands out there and they price them high because of that. It's exciting and you want to get a van, but the truth is the biggest mistake we made was not waiting to see the right van. Yes. The right van for us appeared the same day we chose to return it. Yeah. Nicolette, we were at that Panera. I looked at her, I said, let's return this van. She goes online after crying <laughs> and she sees there's a van a few hours out of the way on the way home. And she goes, babe, this one was personally owned. It has way less miles. It's a little bit bigger and it looks like it was well kept and it's, uh, Carfax has every maintenance record. It was impeccable. The, it was impeccable. Everything about it was amazing. It was the first time we saw this in six months. We had a long, long day, and she said, can we stop and see it? And I said, all right, and we did that. We stopped and we looked at it, and the same day we returned our $35,000 mistake, and actually it worked out for us. We got every dollar back, including our food that we spent, the hotel that we got, all of that was refunded in one way or another. Yeah. We found the van that we currently have and that we're currently starting renovating. And it ended up working out amazingly, but that could have went another way and we yeah. could have been stuck with the van that would have ruined our lives. So that's the next point. Don't buy a rental van if you can avoid it. It's kind of hard to avoid. There are a lot of them. Yeah. Maybe if you are going to buy a rental van, have it be way lower miles and more taken care of. but. Even then, it's a little sketch. So try to avoid a rental van because they're driven to the ground, honestly. Yep. If you can find a personal van, that is the way to go. And just wait it out. The yeah. right van is there for you. It'll feel right. There will be no negative attached to it. And it will work out because we feel really good about our choice now. It was a little bit more than the other one. We had to increase our budget, but we feel a lot better. So and we're excited. Yeah, we do. Don't try to skimp. If you are yeah. buying, <laughs> if you are buying a newer van and you're going to be financing it, just try to have a couple extra thousand on top of what you think your down payment should be and just really stack on that and give it a little more, especially in today's market. That being said, this was a very stressful experience for us. And I know you could probably see it on us that it was stressful, but we're out of it. Yeah. And we started uh, this week, renovating our van and taking the steps necessary. We're not going to tell you yet to start our van build series, and we're going to be putting that up so people can watch kind of what we're doing here to make it an accessible home for Nicolette, a beautiful home for both of us, and a tiny home for us to travel in. So we're excited to show you that, and make sure you subscribe to check it out. Yeah, this van feels like home, so we're pretty excited about that. It's home. So, yep, we got the same van, literally a little bit bigger. Yeah, we got the extended, so that worked out too. We're really happy about all the extra space we'll have. We want to ask that if you enjoyed this video, you leave a like. And if we earn your subscription, or if we help you in any way, make sure you check out some of our future videos by subscribing to the channel. That's the best way to support us. We appreciate all your support, guys, and we really hope that this video helps someone else that's buying a van today, in today's market.